And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Investigator. We got a pretty cool brew from Silent Eric here in stream. Um, wanted me to check this one out. Been having some success with it. And so it looks really interesting. So let's do it. I, I am a sucker for Teemo decks. That's for sure. Teemo's really cool. We're pairing Teemo with a whole bunch of two mana spells, as you can see throughout here. Um, basically everything costing two mana. And even these things that don't cost two mana, they kind of still do. Because whenever whenever you draw Patrol Wardens, it costs one less this round, so it costs two. Same with Gotcha, and same with Suit Up. And so basically we have all two mana cards except for Teemo, and then uh, I guess then our Puff Cap Peddler, and some of our engine cards, Puff Cap Peddler, Insightful Investigator, and this is our real payoff. Whenever we play a two cost card, we get to draw one fleeting. So we can just kind of keep on play, play a two drop, draw another two drop, keep playing it until we're out of mana. And then also we have Chief Mechanist Zevi. Every time we draw one card, we, we give it fleeting and create a copy of it. Um, so yeah, we can just get even more fleetings. So we can really rifle through our deck and make sure that we find like all three copies of Teemo's fairly easily. And we can even, if we have a Teemo in play, we can cast like the Mushroom Clouds because we we're probably going to be able to rifle through and find more Teemos. Um, and then, you know, we have like some protection. T suit up with Teemo is awesome. You know, setting the ally to 4-4, four, four, you know, making Teemo cost be a 4-4 four, four is really cool. The dream is like, um, we play turn one Teemo, turn two, we draw suit up and then make it a 4-4. Four, four. That's kind of the dream. That's awesome. But then also making like um, Boom Crew Rookie a 4-4, four, four, also pretty good. And just some other random stuff. We can do that. Um, and yeah, so we, you know, we have our, our spells are really, really cheap. So we're, we're playing early. We're playing a lot of stuff, but then we still have really good late game because we get to draw so many cards with insightful investigator and a chief mechanist Zevi. So that's our plan. That's our plan. Yeah. Top deck of mystic shot, but it's actually two mystic shots. That's the dream. All right. Let's see. Let's go to, let's, let's definitely go to the hex tech lab. Yeah, we're going basically all, let's go all PNZ here. So let's go play five games over in ranked. No, playing against burn. They're gonna burn my Teemos. Don't burn Teemo. Don't burn Teemo. Don't really want to start with the four mana cards in hand. And then the other two mana cards that we had were just fairly, fairly uh, interchangeable. So I want to kind of look for our engine pieces, look for Teemo, look for our regular four drop and stuff like that. Go clump of lumps to block rear guard. Yeah, turn one, suit up. Oh, wait, not too early to suit up. Ooh, are we gonna gotcha? All right, well, gotcha on that thing. We can't block that thing. We can block the three-one with our rookie. damage so I either save three life with this gotcha or kill this boom crew rookie
Save three life. Not even interested in blocking in the slightest. Yeah, killing the boon crew would save two life later, but you know, might as well save the three life over save two life. There's a right tool for everything. So we're at nine. I'm a little worried about Mystic Shot this, and then they have uh, the Noxion Fervor. Alright, well I don't think I want to play this against Burn and give them let them draw more Burn spells. That doesn't seem great. Oh, I should pump up the three toughness thing. Yeah, I should pump up the three toughness thing. That was dumb. That was dumb. Instantly punished. At least that's a burn spell not going face. Now that's what I'm talking about. Zero mana mystic shot? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. How can I help? I What's up, Timo? <laughs> this deck is crazy. Opponent, where are you going? All right, we beat Burn. So yeah, you can see the power of those cards of, of Zevi and and Investigator. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, that time we got the correct investigator. That was pretty awesome. You have the power of card advantage. All right, what do we got here? Not bad, not bad. 
I'm going to mulligan the peddler and keep wardens. It's my turn three blocker. Hmm. Timo. Happy to do whatever's needed. That's good. Card's good. Yeah, silver one is good. Absolutely. Oh, gross. I mean, we're trading three for three. Like, we're gonna be trading two for two. It's just they use that, that one spell mana to kill my four two. So do we want it to set up next turn or and take eight? Or do we play the apprentice block? And then we waste a and then we just play Boom Crew Rookie. Yeah, it's eight damage. Yeah, we could probably wait. It, that is it's tough. Yeah, tough call. Time to get rowdy. All right, I should have led with Boom Crew Rookie. It's actually better to trade with the Rookie so, because the Apprentice and the Mystic Shot can team up on the 4-4. Yeah, we just took four, so that's that's fine. Subterfuge, hidden clues, it's all here. No, I don't, Jax. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Ooh. Why is my opponent playing hired gun? Because that card's amazing. Nobody plays that. No, the the way to uh, Discord is the best way to send me a message on Discord. That's the, the Discord room there. Or you can just send me a message here on Twitch. If you want to send me a message, right? Try, just send me a whisper. If that works too. So basically I can't block with that that one toughness thing anymore because of the misfortune. Be grateful I even noticed you. 
That worked out pretty well. I don't like this scout. This is our I don't like this. <laughs> yep, yep, there's a Discord scrub lord. Discord's for everybody. Kill this misfortune. How do I kill them? Yeah, we are definitely getting the, the puff cap peddlers. attacking us so much. Let us just sit back and do our thing. Nothing gets between me and my mom. Hot damn is the boss. You best start running. They grow up. Question is, do I block Grizzled Ranger? Yeah, I guess so. No. Because like Misfortune levels up now, and so I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. We're just going to have to just chump block with everything, I guess. Oh, come on. Really? Have to kill Zevi? Come on. Alright, so looks like we're gonna be one and one. My pretty. Oh right, overwhelm. Yeah, that vulnerable on the insight. Yeah, on the insight full. I just I wasn't really Yeah, I I didn't play around that card at all. But I, I mean 
that that obviously really hurt. And then just yeah, Grizzled Rangers and Misfortunes. Like those cards are very very good. And so they won. Okay. I don't no. Jax, I don't I don't check messages during I'm streaming right now. No, yeah, uh Miss Fortune has overwhelm with the the second form like uh, her leveled up has over overwhelmed, so that's why it didn't matter that we put a blocker there. Um, do I keep both investigators? Probably. Investigators, you know, it's our it's our important card, but um, I mean, I guess we just keep both. Like if one dies, like we don't need two. It's just like backup in case one dies. Yeah, I'll, I'll check Discord after the stream. Yeah, that is true. We could definitely mill out with two. We really, really don't need to. Like, we don't have the time to play both. Like, to, to play all the cards that you get from both. Take that, thank you. We do trade there with, you know, like we trade with Boom Crew Rookie plus something else. Oh wow, they just let us attack. Best run while you can. Yep, there is Make It Rain. Yeah, just let this happen. My Mystic Shot's pretty valuable. Yeah, PC Snow, just keep keep working on it. Sometimes, you know, like, progressing isn't always linear. Just keep playing, and, um... You know, you'll be good. I do like how our cards aren't very good. <laughs> I mean, like, it's... As far as, um, you know, like their plunder stuff. Demo. Like, if they want to plunder stuff from our deck, they just take... Ooh. Never know what hit them. Don't mind me. They just take some two drops. Who is this targeting? Why isn't it telling me who this is targeting? It's, 
Oh, well, whatever. We're suiting up Teemo. So because Teemo was attacking, it doesn't tell us? I don't think I play the investigator. I have infinite cards, and so I don't need to give my opponent another card. This is like a, a late game thing if necessary. Um All right, we're going to mystic shot that. Maybe we hit suit up. We did not hit suit up. All right, so I either cast the Mushroom Cloud or the Trail of Evidence. I think I cast the Mushroom Cloud and get, get another Teemo back in the deck. And then might as well just cast this and level up. Might as well. Yeah, exactly. I like shuffling the Teemo back in the deck. And we got our backup insightful investigator still. I rarely forget never. Um. So I you, hmm. Have a mushroom. Have three. I heard about you. Oh, this is a lot of damage coming across. And do that, take six. And then anything kills my Teemo. Please don't kill my Teemo. That was our spell to protect Teemo. What was the next card? It looks like if I would have just gone straight to attacks, I would have been able to hit them. They wouldn't have had the removal. Should have done that. So obviously I'm dead whenever Gangplank attacks. Something they didn't block something. Yes, of course. No, Timo. Quick death was too good. 
I would have just gone straight to combat. We would have hit him for five. Double their puff caps. They probably would have drawn one more puff cap. My mind was, my mind was like, play, play that to look for a fleeting card to protect Teemo. And or get more, you know, be able to attack for more damage, you know, like, because obviously I knew, like, we were dead on, on the attack back. But, should have just gone straight to combat. The suit-ups on the Teemos have been awesome. I have liked that quite a bit. Suit up has looked good. Not necessarily in the opener. Yeah, I agree. It's a, it's a good sign that that we had a path to likely victory, even though that wasn't the path I took. Opponent's name is unknown. Yeah, the scout yeah, the scout matchup felt a lot harder than that one and, and looks like we're playing a similar kind of deck with Demacia. These curve out decks their their creatures get to be so big so fast and getting multiple attacks just too difficult. Exactly. T try to try to keep the bannerman under check. Wish we had like I wish we could play six mystic shots. I feel like this vest veteran investigator shouldn't be in the deck. This does not look like a very good card. The I guess the best thing it does is is. I feel like the best thing it does is is after like if you have hit with um, Teemo a bunch, then you can give them, then you can force them to draw into some more puff caps. But this card, like in in hand, I've, I never want to cast this card. Also, Grizzled Ranger has looked unbeatable. <laughs> I guess we're casting it because Grizzled Ranger is unbeatable. That was the, the scout card played multiple Grizzled Rangers also. It's like, what? how are we supposed to beat this card? Like, like literally, how, how do you beat this card? Yeah, like... <laughs> Don't know if it's possible. Oh, 
can waste basically I use four cards to deal with one and a half Grizzled Rangers. And they still have a four four left. Whoa, we have Triferian Glory Seeker. That card's pretty good. Haven't seen one of those yet. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. That's some removal for bigger things. Yeah, I think that card's better than than the that three two where we both draw cards. I think Glory Seeker is a better card than than that other one card. I'd rather have the removal spell. I think I think this kind of deck could use use those removal spells. Let's put in another Glory Seeker, put in another Transfusion, get rid of these Investigators, and put in another, um, probably Patrol Wardens. Patrol Wardens has looked good. Or Eager Apprentice is really good. I like Eager Apprentice a lot. Gives us more mana. Which one? I just don't, I don't want that Investigator at all. Like, it, it, it's a card I don't want to cast unless I'm, like, already winning. Like, I've already done, like, a whole bunch of puff cap stuff, and so it's just a card I don't want in the deck. Get all. Definitely just play a third Zevi. Zevi's amazing. Hmm. Yeah, gotcha's not bad either. We do need removal. Yeah, maybe we just play a third Zevi. You think it, you think it should be Gotcha? So the thing is, like Zevi can can tussle with big things, and and again, if you have a second, you know, if you have three, then you can let you know, like one can die, and you can play and get another one. No, all right, I'll go with the Gotcha. Maybe Zevi instead of the third Transfusion. Transfusion has looked good. All right, I'm gonna get. I'm getting rid of this Sumpworks map. We're gonna play a third Zevi. I want to try a third Zevi. But yeah, I just I don't want that it I don't want that two man investigator at all. Like I, I don't want to play a card that I don't want to like if it's a card that I usually don't want to play, it shouldn't be in the deck. 
unless it's like really really powerful and that card is not really really powerful like it, if there's like games that it wins on its own then you can find room for it but let's just get some more interaction because our deck has a really good late game we need that interaction and need to be able to get to the late game All right, turn one, Teemo. All right, I'm saving those updates on the list on Mobile Addicts. I don't know. Grenadier also doesn't really interact. It's like this Patrol Wardens has looked really good though. Come on. Boo. I like Teemo. Do you think it's... Is it better to save... Is it better to wait until you have five mana total and play Teemo with suit up? Yeah, against Shadow Isles, I should. Because their deck just doesn't play much. Like, they don't have that much removal. I guess they have Vile Feast. They don't play very much removal besides that. Puff caps. Keeping Glory Seeker to, to kill Maokai if they play Maokai. We need it around. Hoping to draw. Yuck. Any of our top ends? I consider Teemo our top end. You know, so, so Teemo or 4 drop or 6 drop. Fourteen puff caps. One off a of level up, Timo. Yeah, Zevi. That's our plane three. We need our Zevis. Let's go, Zevi. All right, so one of those cards had a puff cap, so that's why they they lost a puff cap. Shots, eh? The end is March. What 
does that thing do? Like, why play that this early? So they could have, like, the Riptide it, I guess. Well, we'll start challenging it with Glory Seeker. to wear ties. I like to dress professionally while I'm at work right now. Cam is out of sync. More equipment on the field. More Zevies. I'll cut them apart. Face me. So they shuffle a card into their deck that doesn't have a puff cap. You dream it, I'll build it. Alright, well this could be crazy. We broke the game. We broke the game. I can't handle double Zevi. Zevi. Play too fast. Can't handle this, it's it's too fleeting. Too fleeting. Alright, am I supposed to block these? Hmm. They, so they toss four if I would just block them. They go down to 21 cards left. Okay, yours is doing it the same. Okay, so it's the servers. What do y'all think of blocking? You think I should block but don't kill? No, I mean, that's not worth it. It's either block and kill or let him go. Like, like, if I let it go, like, we're just taking two damage into perpetuity. I think we just take two damage into perpetuity.
We need to find Timo. It's not bad. Six cards away from deep. I'm glad I didn't block the, the thorny toads. we get okay what else we get okay um No, we don't need a 7-3, Zev. Built to spec. Need a Teemo. Mystic Shots. more Zevs. Sure. Whatever. There's a right tool for everything. More Zevi. Well, that's rude. So when they draw their next card, they're going to be deep. This game was definitely lost by me playing the, the Teemo on turn one and them having the Vile Feast for the Teemo. 
that's definitely where I lost this game. Yeah, get rid of those cards. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, we can, yeah, we can throw a whole bunch of pop caps at him. I mean, I am really worried about us actually surviving right now. But yeah, maybe maybe they just like won't have very many cards, and we can give them, you know, like fifteen puff caps. Like if, if we can survive this attack, we have a chance, but they may just play a bunch more sea monsters for no mana. Easy win. We can't. We're not going to survive this attack. Yeah, we're dead. Where did that card come from? I can block two things. One with Legion Drummer, and then one after I suit up. So I can block nine power and 13 power, but that's still 21 damage coming across, and we're at 16. So I like the changes that we made to the deck. Um, yeah, like I like Glory Seeker, Transfusion, and Chief Mechanist Zevi a lot more. Um, but this this deck, you kind of have to play perfectly. There's a couple of those games where I took a wrong line. Like, for example, that game, my wrong line was playing turn one Teemo. Because then they had Vile Feast for it. If I don't turn one Teemo, they had two Vile Feasts, but... Um, you know, I would have had the suit up. Like, if I waited until I could suit up also. Um, they had... Because they just had Vile Feast and then Withering Whales, right? Like, I don't think they had a Grasp of the Undying. But maybe they did. I don't remember. But, I, you know, I definitely know about, like, the two Vile Feasts and, like, a couple Withering Whales. But even if we could have just got a couple of hits in with the Teemos, like, especially two hits would have made a huge, huge difference in that game. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, definitely a super fun deck, though. So, you know, if you want to do some crazy stuff, especially if, uh, you know, our first game, we got to do some really crazy stuff. We beat Burn, and uh, we had we had Investigator in play and Zevi in play. And so then every two, do every two drop we played, we drew two fleeting um and it was just crazy but but there we go yeah so definitely a lot of potential here with the deck it's just how do we get the the two mana cards to be real impactful um what do we do there is there a different region beside like is there something better than transfusion glory seeker maybe not like this is protection and removal i don't know if there's another region that has anything else that's better at two mana um honestly like with bilgewater um you know bilgewater you get black market merch 
black market merchants and pilfered goods. And then you could also have make it rain, which make it rain is also amazing if you make lots of copies of. So maybe going bilge water for these three cards. Um, and hired guns not bad either, giving giving stuff vulnerable and letting you attack in with it. So maybe going bilge water is better than Noxus. Because then you know you get to take their cards, and then then you can actually you know you can have like answers where you don't have to put answers in your deck. Um, yeah, I kind of like I kind of like those, and because we saw like how good it was to like make uh, a lot of Mystic shots, like have Zevi make a bunch of Mystic shots, or you know, and everything like you create copies. Like that's awesome, being able to play like three Mystic shots in a turn. I feel like the same would probably be for Make It Rain. That would probably be a card that you'd want to play a lot of. So that could be maybe something to think about is maybe going with uh, Bilgewater and trying to kind of combine these. So there we go. All right, that's Teemo Investigator. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And... Uh, yeah, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this crazy deck. Let me know if you liked it. All that kind of stuff. Um, Y'all know the drill. Thanks so much for watching some Teemo Investigator, though, and I'll see you for the next video.